In this tutorial, we're going to examine how to record audio from a YouTube video using Audacity. And in this case, the instructions are going to be specific to Windows 7. So starting off within YouTube, what we're going to do is start to play the video that you want to record and then just pause that video. And what that will do is the video will continue to load here in this, this shaded red bar. And in that way, when we finally go to play it, uh, we won't experience any buffering or any gaps in our audio. Now we have to set up Windows 7 specifically for this task. So we go to the control panel and we choose the sound control panel and the recording tab. Now, right now, we're seeing two recording devices because we have two possible microphones here, a built-in one and one that's connected. But there's also another option. If we right-click and go Show Disabled Devices, we see here that there's a stereo mix. And this is actually the output, the internal output of the sound card. That's what we want. And what we're going to have to do in this case is we're going to have to right-click on that and we're going to have to enable it. And then we're also going to have to set it as the default device. So if that's not already done, you'd right click and set as default would be there. Now, having done that, we need to make sure that we have Audacity. If you haven't downloaded Audacity, you would go to audacity.sourceforge.net, go to the download page, and for Windows 7, we need to download the beta. Now, normally we wouldn't recommend beta software, but in this case, the stable version is not particularly compatible with Windows 7, so we recommend downloading the beta. You'd install that, and then within Audacity, once it's installed and loaded, you would go to View, Toolbars, and make sure that the Device Toolbar is there. The device toolbar looks like this, okay, across the top, and we need to select the Windows Direct Sound Primary Sound Capture Driver. So we're going to capture the audio that our computer is producing. The process then would be to start recording. We record first in Audacity, and that way we don't miss anything. We can always clip or cut off any silence. So we're going to hit record. We're going to come to YouTube and press play. And you can see here in Audacity how it's recording that sound. So when we're done recording the sound that we want to, we'll click stop in Audacity and we can also click stop within our YouTube video. Going back to Audacity, because I started recording before there was any sound playing, I can come up here to the beginning and I can trim that off and just highlighting and going control X to cut it out. Last job would be to render this as an MP3 file. And to do that, we would need to go File, Export, and in this case, it's defaulting to MP3. We can give it a name. Make sure we know where we're saving it. And click Save. We can fill out the artist tag information and so on if we want. Right now, I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to render that as an MP3 file that we can then play, add to PowerPoint, do whatever we want with it. And that's the basics of recording online audio in Audacity within Windows 7.